Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how I create this render. First, you need to have this object. If you wanted to learn how I create this one, you can check out my other video. In that tutorial video, I will show you how to create this model and how I create this label also. After you back from that video, you can go back here and then we can start it. First, we need to create another window. Just click here and drag like this. And at the front view over here, press Shift A, add a camera, press GZ, move your camera up here, and press Alt R to reset the rotation of your camera. And then we're gonna change the resolution. Just make it 1080 and 1920, just like this. And at this window, we're gonna go to the camera view. Just like this and our object here we're gonna rotate it press R X minus 90 degree just like this and adjust your camera here like this and probably we're gonna change over here your camera selected and click here object data property focal length here change it to probably 116 and press G Z move it up like this yep just like this you can adjust your camera and at this window we can press T and scroll like this disable this one and this one and then we can press shift A mess as you can see here, I have a rock generator. But if you don't have a rock generator, just go to the edit, preference, other add ons here. Over here, just type mess. And we need to enable this. Add mess extra object. After you enable this add ons, save your preference. Then we can press Shift A. Mess, rock generator, just like this. And we can hide our bottle first. As you can see, we have a rock like this. And you can see, bottom down here, just click like this. We can increase the number of the rock. Maybe I need like Like a three rocks only, just like this, and then let's move it to new collection. Let's name it Rock K. Okay. You can see we have a rock here, just like this. We're gonna disable this for now, and then press Shift A, mess at a plan. Let's bring back our bottle and select our plane here. Press S to scale it. Just like this. And then go to the particle property over here. Add a particle slot here. Change the frame start to 0. N is 0. And lifetime, let's make it like 100. Move down here, field wake, gravity, make it zero. Let's try to hit the spacebar. Okay. It will look like this. Go to the render here. Render us here, change it to collection and instance here. Select our rock collection. Just like this. Increase the scale. Maybe we need more, something like this. We need the rotation here. Randomize, make it one. It's like this. Now we have something like this. And then we need to suggest the randomize. After we're doing this, you can adjust the 
scale of the rock maybe something like this then we can press M to move it to new collection just name it particle rock and we can change the number of the particle it seems like too much change the seed maybe just something like this next go to the modifier modifier property here and click here make instance real after you do press M move them to new collection again and just name it anything you want rock anything just like that and then you're gonna press GZ move it up just like this and you can rotate it maybe like this okay and then our plan here let's hide this collection first and we need to adjust this little bit change the seat yeah maybe this one and then enable this one again and we can adjust our bottle here and move it up just like this okay go to the render property change EV to cycle here I'm only using CPU but if you have a graphic card just use GPU and then noise threshold here I will leave it like that and max sample I only using 50 color management here I'm gonna use high contrast here and over here let's change it to render preview and then we're gonna press shift A like at a point like here press M new collection just name mid like just like this press alt Z then click here object data property I'm gonna increase the radius size here and change the color to a little bit yellow or orange here and increase the power yep press G Z move it up and reduce the scale 1.5 maybe 1.3 okay I'm gonna duplicate this one and move it around here just like this then we need another light press if a like area like go to front view G Z move it up here change the resolution maybe 1000 it's too much I guess 500 press the scale and then go to the right view change your pivot point to 3d cursor or you can click here change to the 3d cursor and press R to rotate it our like over here go to the top view again rotate it again I want the like from over here and at this window we can press ctrl B and click like this we can duplicate this light and then press R to rotate it again from here I guess it's too bright maybe 100 is enough and I forgot something word property here change it to zero ok 
okay this one let's change the power to 300 okay and duplicate it again press R to rotate it and change this one to 100 press GX maybe okay maybe we need to select this point like move it up okay let's add a material for the rock just click like this drag for another window click here change it to shader editor and let's go to our rock collection the original three rocks we can select all of these three rocks and press backslash just like this and select one of them new material press n here we're gonna press shift a search for noise texture let's put it here and click at your noise texture here and press ctrl t but if you don't have this option let me undo first go to the edit preference other add-ons here just type here note and you're gonna see the not triangle note here you need to enable this add-ons after you do save your preference and close this one and then click your noise texture note here press ctrl t it will automatically add a mapping note and texture coordinate we're gonna press shift a again search for color ramp and put it here connect the vector to vector here and press shift and control click at your color ramp and let's try to change this one to viewport sharing we have a result like this and we're gonna connect object to vector here and we're gonna change the detail here probably something like this and try to increase here maybe just like this and then just let's drag like this and press shift a again search for bump note and put it here and connect it to high as you can see we have a texture like this and then connect normal to normal here at your principal bsdf shift control and click just like this let's change the color to black color maybe we need more darkness like this yep and the roundness we're gonna turn down the roundness so it will have a little more shiny like this and we're gonna select the stone and make this one at less press ctrl l link material press backslash and let's select this plane material this one okay as you can see here i think we're gonna need to increase the power here let's make it 1000 and this one maybe maybe we don't need this one then we're gonna enable this one let's change it to solid mode and we're gonna select the stone what we don't need this one like this one and this one okay let's change this to this and this one also I guess we need more point like here 
just select one of these and shift D to duplicate it. Press G Y. Let's put it down here. And then for this like, let's change the color to a little bit blue. Let's change this power to 500. We need to adjust this point light. It's G Y. here and this one or the last one gy put it somewhere here this one okay then you can render the picture and that's it guys thank you for watching and see you on my next video thank you